Hello again, and welcome back to more Code Combat. On this one, we are going to go through... More battle scars! What was it again? It was Closure, a modern lisp. Or L-I-S-P. I don't know if it's spelled out, I don't, I don't even know what it is. But again, let's see if I can figure it out. Um, again, going with... Nothing to it. Sir Tharin. A little less obnoxious. That's all that really matters to me. <laughs> um... Alright, let's see what the script is like. Code Combat. Nothing same to old, it. same old. Grab the treasure. Okay, that looks exactly like Python. Methods. Like exactly like Python. Type Let me your... go back to see if I to make sure I picked the right one. Um, change of hero. Course. Oh, I think that was Python. Closure. Whoopsie. Fix code. I didn't type any code. Oh. Oh, it saves data from the last one. Yeah, I still hate that. Okay. Oops. Um. Don't the Reload the original code. Don't delete the example code. Do I have to? Can I still? Type? Oh, it will not actually let me reload all code. I didn't know that was an option. God damn it. Okay. Okay. Um. Wow, that's that's really different. That's really really different. So the shorthand still works, right? Yes, it does. So now I'm kind of stuck in this spot where, like, if I want to really efficiently learn this code, I would have to keep myself from using the shorthand. Um, so let's, again, like, I want to challenge myself to figure this out, but the shorthand is right there telling me what it is, that's, um, something I'm not a fan of. Okay. So I might go a little bit slower this time, because... You know, I'm making, as a player playing the right. game, I'm making it more difficult on myself to effectively do what the game wants it wants me to do. Like, it wants me to learn the code, but it makes it too easy to learn with the shorthand. Move down this. Because the sentence structure here, or code structure, I don't know if it's a sentence structure. Uh, Seems totally backwards to me. Um, up this. Uh, dot move right. This. Oh, that should be it, right? Move right. Cool. Move down. Okay, again, don't really Boom. ever need to buy right. anything. Move right. So, start it, but I don't actually want the game to start for me. Thank you. Okay. Stay out of sight. Move up this. Move no. Move right this. Dot, move. So, move right, move up, move right, move down. This. It's kind of hard to keep track of the directions every now and then. That's where I didn't hit enter. And it hasn't shown me that before. Don't know if that's a bug or not. Um, move right this. Move right. Enter all. Cool. Alright. Again, the rewards... Never change, level to level, I don't get anything new, there's no new items that pop up. It's all sequential, it's all linear. I'm not missing anything by skipping it. Um, so, move... Right... This... Actually, like, move right. See. Whoopsie. Oh, well, that is the right code. Alright. Now I know. Um, wasn't sure there was a space in there I missed. Move 
up this move up, move right this okay move see move right this so this is a lot harder I mean at least it's more time consuming but I feel like I'm learning the the structure a lot more than just quickly you know hitting three or four keys to get through this level by using shortcuts um, so move right move up move right move right um, dot move down this move down this Up this. Man, I'm just glad people can't see how I'm actually holding my hands on the keyboard because my typing etiquette is god awful. Uh, move right this. Move right. Move up. Cool. All right. Move right. Equip. Equip. Code come right. Alright, so this language seems to function entirely between parentheses. So seven is so I attack and then I move. Everything also starts with a period. Move, right, this. Um, that's Iraq. Attack, this. Okay. Treg. So I can see that making people attack twice, at least if they're typing out the code, teaches them... It's the, it's the repetition. So I guess that's a reason why the DPS on the starter weapons are so low. I mean, they're always low, but at least these, these guys have a reason to make it low. Right. This. Move right. This. Move right. Cool. Attack. Another achievements. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's beat the ogres. No problems in the code. Attack. Rig. Okay. Attack. I don't feel like I'm, you know, really. Again. I, I didn't even try to do it that time. <clears throat> the copy and paste one I did on purpose. Again, that's I feel like is a is a good habit, especially with a repetitive code. Um, but man, I, I really didn't even try to do the shorthand on on uh, the attack. This Gert that really was a muscle memory, which is not a good sign. If I'm trying to learn all these different uh, structures, it's more helpful for me to actually manually type all this out. And so if all I've done is develop a muscle memory to zip past this stuff, Attack. I think that's a that's an actual Attack. problem. Oh, I died. More armor okay. To win this fight. All right, I need more armor, um, which means I need to go out of the level. And I guess I've been rushing through so fast, I just completely forgot to actually buff my guy up. Attack. In that sense, the game, they, it became more of a game than, than education. My code wasn't wrong, but because I didn't play along with the rules of the game, quote unquote, um, I still failed the level. Code combat. Usually when your hero dies, it's because you've looped a move command into a spiked wall. <clears throat> But I wonder what the password is. I'm gonna take a wild guess here. Um, with a move right command. <coughs> Water is the let's player's best friend. <coughs> but anyway. Yeah, I mean, the, the game seems to be reinforcing a muscle memory more than 
<coughs> actually retaining the knowledge on how to write this script out. So, wow, what is that? Dot times? A thousand. What? What is it? Is that the loop? I get it, so it's almost it's almost like math where it's like parentheses within parentheses. Um But again, this is the disconnect of like what I'm seeing here and what this is telling me here. This makes sense to me. I can just type out while true or just parentheses loop and then end parentheses like three lines or three lines of code down. But like dot times and a thousand, I have no idea what that means, and nothing here is telling me what that means. Weird. Um dot move left this cool fortunately the multiple playthroughs I've done of this I'm learning again part of it is me learning I think the more the mechanics of the game than that some of the application of the code if that makes sense so again since they're just telling me exactly what to do here and this is kind of part of the problem is that the shorthand is becoming... Oopsie. That's gonna be a dead hero. Do. Do it. Okay. Um, again, the shorthand is becoming... more engraved in my head more than anything else. So I'm just gonna get a hat because I want a hat. Code combat. Although... You know, now that I'm starting to type these things out, I'm getting a little faster as I go. I'm definitely faster now than I was when I started this, uh... Move right. I should be faster if I just tap. Move oh, right. There we go. Stop it. Stop starting the level for me. It's almost like my character wants to kill himself, and the code is the only thing, like, saving his life. Which I feel like is something either really profound right. or really prof Move right. uh, pathetic. Move up. Move on. Okay. Let's just keep going. Combat. So, let's see here. Uh, loop. Again, I'm able to... Oh, is the shorthand not there? Cool, okay. Does the shorthand loop not work? It does. But it does dot time. What the hell is dot time? I see while true, and that's how I would type it out myself if I had to, and I'm going to. While true. Yeah, alright. That's so weird. Like this. Move. Right. Move has one. V. This. This, I see the error. It does highlight the error when it's in there, so that's kind of nice. This. Move down this. That should be the whole thing. Cool. Move up. The nice thing, at least with the... Code. 19 levels. I mean, I know I'm doing all the same ones, but I can't really retain every single script for every single level in my head, so... Loop doesn't work, and I don't know what... I Dot doesn't make any sense to me. And I'm sure that it has, it has some application that I don't know, but the game isn't telling me what that is. Um, attack... It'll just show me here. Attack this... door... and... and... Weird, like jumps all of a sudden. Uh, there, right? Attack. Cool. All right. Code comp attack. Okay. So let. Okay. So instead of variable like JavaScript, um, 
Oh, wow, I completely spaced on the name of this script. <laughs> Let me just refresh my memory. Um, Not a problem. Closure. Okay. So JavaScript's use var, variable. This one is using set, so like set the variable. Or let? Oh, let. Let it. Let the variable. Yeah, okay. Oh, and it's using brackets. Okay, cool. So again, I'm kind of noticing these things on my own. The game isn't really explicitly highlighting the differences. Uh, I feel like if you pay a little bit of attention, it's not that hard. But for like a younger audience, that could go over their head. Especially if they don't see it and they're trying to apply previous code to it. Um, or previous languages to it. So... Attack the 71, attack the 71. Uh, attack this enemy two. Again, the shorthand is there, unfortunately. I'd rather it not. By the end of this game, I hope I can learn how to spell enemy. I'm not holding my breath, though. I... Ooh, what did I forget? Oh, the quotations? No. Attack this. Oh, jeez. It is actually just the spelling of the word. All right. I see you. So, all right. So I start it with let brackets three. Let's see, brains nearest enemy. This. Okay. And then I close both statements. Cool. So the... It's not a loop, because... I mean, do these need to be... Do those need to be... Out? I mean, I just want to do this just to see. But it's, it's not a loop command. So, um, I'm actually gonna do it with the one because if it's wrong, it's easier to fix. So, attack, oh, dot, attack. And that's the problem with the shorthand is because if I can start the command with just A or left or right, I'm not getting that period in. If I had to do it myself, I would probably miss it just like I did at the start. Attack this enemy three. Oh, it, maybe it is a loop. I'm not sure. Well, I mean, I think it's a loop because I see the parenthesis at the start and then the parenthesis at the end, the double parenthesis at the ends. I mean, that that actually does make it a loop then. Which I guess is something that's that explicit. I mean, maybe there's just a direction I missed somewhere. I, I mean, all of these, all the the info screens look exactly the same, and I mean, it's not the most informative thing in the world. <laughs> I guess it's misspelling enemy. That's sloppy, sloppy typing. Whew. All over the place on that one. I see you. Why? Why? Cool. So was that just a small loop? I don't remember the other. I don't remember the other levels. Those being loot, uh, loop scripts. Um, create a second variable and attack it. Okay. Uh, find the nearest enemy. So let's brackets. Hey, I spelled it right this time. Where is my bonus objective game? Okay. 
Uh... Oops. Again, I didn't really mean to. I see you. Where's the target? Attack this enemy two. There's a target check to see if there's an enemy within your line of sight. Enemy... What? Enemy 2... Oh! Oh no, I, I closed it. I closed the loop. I mean, I need to move, too. Fix your code, there's no target. I actually have a problem here. I spelled enemy right this time. Oh, for God's sake. Whoa. That's a weird one. Um, I also know I need to... Move down this. Just because I didn't close it, I thought it was a loop. It was not, it was just a mistake. Game. Right. This. Move. Right. This. I see you. Cool. Alright, got it right. Alright, so this one is. Taking noticeably longer than the last one because I'm specifically slowing myself down to better learn this code. I almost feel like I have to go back and redo the other ones because I went through them so fast that I, I really couldn't write them out. Um, you should recognize this from the last level. Um, so it's just for the sake of. of Progressing, making sure not all these videos are 45 minutes long. Um, now attack. Why am I outside the, the. Did it move me there automatically? Move right. I see you. One. Right. I see. Okay, and then from outside the loop, it's right. These things aren't part of the script because of those symbols in front of them. So it's okay to copy and paste it. And then I can change these to two. I've, I mean, part of me feels like these like shorthands should be encouraged a little bit, at least the ones I'm doing, the copy and pasting, but... Oh, whoops. Is it this? Move right. I see you. Oh, okay, cool. Right. So there I was able to fix an error because I had spent so much time Attack. actually typing out all this code dead. myself Move that right. I was able to see the error and fix it. Move right. I mean, if I was going that quickly with that piece of code, with all the other ones, I might not have known. And I might have actually been relatively stuck. Code combat. Let's well, survive under four statements. This is the wave one. This is the wave one. Okay. So, this one is just find nearest enemy. Yeah, I mean, like, that shorthand skips over so much of this code. By just typing in F I enter, I get the let the enemy, all the punctuation that goes along with it. Except for this ending uh, parenthesis. 
find enemy one, attack, enemy one. Um, I think it's one little, just one little does it, right? Whoa. Whoa. That's not right. error in line three. Like, this is a lot of script here. What did I miss? Here, let's reload this. Inside a while true loop. It's not a loop? There's the dot times again. Um... Oh, do I... Oh, I only do it once and he stops. He doesn't... Okay. That's not actually a loop. The attacks are a loop. That's so confusing. Because it's... With the indentations, it seems like a loop. At least when I do find nearest enemy. Hmm. That is actually a little confusing. Um... What enemy... So... So I did the loop. I did find nearest enemy. Uh, attack enemy. Didn't define this one. What a king! Does it not need to have an identifier? What a king! Oh, there's still an error. This isn't really. Telling me what's wrong. What a king! Was it? I'm actually having some trouble with this. Attack. Okay. So. Again. Hmm. So loop I made the loop. Does it need to close in a certain way? All true. I'm not. Oh my god, was that it? What no, was that it the whole time? That was because I didn't close out the bracket. Oh man, that feels really stupid. At the same time, because I'm using these shorthands and I'm not seeing these things, it's it's tripping me up. So I mean, I spent so much time on that level because I'm using these shorthands. Which is unfortunate. I, I mean, I wish there was an option to turn it off, and on the last one, um, 
I'm gonna look to see if there is an option to turn that off. Oof. Oh man, that would give me a headache. That was frustrating. Alright. Right. Up. This is a loop. This is a loop. What am I doing? This is a loop. Oh, okay, I have to actually tip it again. Loop. Okay. Right. Up. Find nearest enemy. Bracket. I mean, since I made the mistake so many times, I know how to fix it now, but that's not the way you should be learning how to do this. <laughs> My sense of frustration is not being quenched by the sense of satisf uh, satisfaction. It's just, it just ain't happening. Um, attack enemy. Attack enemy. Um, so right, down, 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 up, up. Do I need a parenthesis? Move right. Cool. Move up. And last but not least, the hammer. Code combat. Down. There's no way your hero can defeat all those ogres. Move down. And it's gonna start it for me anyway. You will need to anyway. build two okay. more fences to escape. Move down. Build. Hover X, over y, the map to find so, X Y coordinates. Build, build X Y. X Y. Oh ha! I hit shift uh, for the Y and hit. I think I hit enter for some reason, maybe because I've been doing shit to enter so many times to, to run the code. Uh, let it kill my guy. Again, the the muscle memory is messing me up more than anything else. Fence. Uh, 30. Don't know so many times I know the coordinate on the map before I even need to look at it. Home is down there. Was it 26? Well, let's just give it a go and see what happens. Right, right, right. Move down. Oh, brave move. Yep. Move right. Yes, it was. Move right. Awesome. Whew. Okay, not gonna lie, that one gave me a headache. Um. Yeah, definitely. I feel like I'm learning more of these keyboard shortcuts more than I am the the subtle inter uh, differences between these the languages. So we'll see what the last one is like. Um, you know, I, I feel like the at this point I have a you know very good grasp on the game and its its weaknesses and strengths, and I'll talk about that more at the end of the last video, um, the next video. Sorry, which is the last video. Um, so yeah, I think I'll just see you on that one and the language, which I saw was a gaming language. That's what it describes. Was Lua game scripting scripting language. So I'm excited for that. So then I will see you on the next one.